Hello, and welcome to the continuing adventures of an old noob here on the Dinnercraft server. Last episode, we made some circles and did a couple of spoony related things. I want to try and figure out what I'm going to be doing with this. I want to do something a little bit different. <laughs> ah! What? Hello, I need to talk to you in your office right now. I was thinking, spoon house. You force me into my own office with the idea of building a spoon house. You don't know what a spoon house is and you don't know where you're going to build it. Yes. Awesome. Let's go get resources. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and in this episode, I want to start carrying on with our project in the lake. I was going to do it last episode. Bees enter hive honey. What? What bees? What's going on? Oh, um... That's my TV room. I don't know if you saw my 100 subscriber special. Really good. If you haven't, go check it out. I spent ages doing it. That's why there was no Dinnercraft episode last week. Anyway, bees. And the subtitles say, bees buzz happily this way. What the? What's going on here? Is this Sev? Sev, have you put bees in here? Why's there bees? I mean, I was going to do some kind of bee farm eventually, but... Okay. Okay, we have bees now. I mean, it's a big tree. They want a nest. Anyway, um, while well, that's still a mystery, I think I'm going to fill in these pathways. So I'm going to fill these all in with a random assortment of spruce. I've been to... Yeah. Look at that! A professional flyer. I've been to the tree farm and I've gone and got myself a few spruce related blocks. I've got slabs, I've got logs, more logs, more logs, even more logs, some more logs, a couple of logs. Some spruce trapdoors, some more logs, and some stripped logs. Oh, thought I had some planks. And some planks. Seamless, I know. Wait, what's that? Is that a yellow mumbo moustache? Why is that? Oh, wait, wait. Is that my moustache? And there. This smells of sev. Oh well. I don't have time to sort it out now. Oh, and you're back. Anyhow, yes, I'm going to fill all this out with random stuff. So let's get some random. We'll have a couple of those, a couple of those, mm, one of those, a couple of those, and a couple of those. And then I'm going to fill all the space in between the wall with whatever my mouse lands on. And guess what? It's gonna be the form of a time lapse.
not happy. I mean, look at it. It just looks too busy. And I don't know why. I'm thinking it might be these. They do make a good contrast. But is it too much? I don't know. But I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it and see what happens. Now, they're just floating there. And yes, wood floats, but I want it to be a structure that stays in place. So I'm going to try and come up with a way that looks okay. Kind of explains how it's stationary. Um, but it's going to be all underwater. And underwater time lapses look rubbish. So we'll come back once I've worked it out. At least the treehouse still looks cool. Okay, before I show you how I decided to tie down the platform so they didn't seem so floaty. I don't know if you remember, but last episode, we kind of got ourselves a dog. And I did ask in the comments if anyone had any ideas what we should name it. Well, a few ideas did come in. And I'm just going to combine them both, I think. Everybody, I'd like you to welcome Greedy Pants. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the roof of the treehouse. And yeah, that's what I've done. I've tied it all down with fence posts because, well, nothing else looked that good, really. And I've gone through a little bit of lighting. Okay, a lot of lighting. It's campfires. You know, like braziers. I'm trying to do it so it looks a bit, you know, big torches before the time of lanterns. They're not all going to stay. I mean, as this thing changes organically, some of these may disappear. Some may move position. But at the minute, it's more of a test, just to, just to see how it looks. It's not the best, granted, but it's growing on me. And I think as what I imagine in my head comes to fruition, it's going to look even better. Well, that's the hope anyway. I think that's it for here for now. Got a lot to think about. But I know that resources are going to be a thing that I need. Now, I don't know if you saw, but I have actually done my first stream. And it went really well. A lot better than I expected. People actually showed up. Oh, that's a wall. I'm alive. <laughs> so the stream was me, basically, digging in a straight line and collecting resources. I got myself a stack and a half of diamonds, which isn't bad. But my old admin, Spudstack, turned up. And that was cool to see him. And he suggested that I'd probably get a lot more if I beacon mined. So I've decided that I might stream again. But this time beacon mine and see if Spud's right. Now I have heard that somewhere on this server is a wither skelly farm. I've just got to remember where Sev said it was. So Sev has kindly showed me where it is. Um, just got, ah, okay, maybe she's showing me how to get in as well. Look at all this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marcus has done a really good job. Yeah. Oh, that's my face. Right. Wow. Okay, how many are in here? Uh, well, there's 18. But let's get three for ourselves, shall we? And there's all three. Okay. Let's get out of here. Look at all the efforts Marx went into slabbing off all this area just to make it as efficient as possible. Nothing else is going to spawn around here. This must have taken forever. Marx built this farm, but he didn't put it in any of his episodes. His episodes are really good. Just like the rest of the diners, a link to his channel is in the description. Go check him out. Um, how do I get back now? Here we are. In Sev's base. Don't ask. Just just don't. And I'm wondering Aha If she would like to help me with the wither. And I think the only way to get her attention I don't know about you, but I think that'll work. Now just to wait. I'm here. Hello, Sev. 
Hello. Welcome to your office. Yes, this is my office. You're sitting in my chair. Well, it looked really comf. Do you want it back? There you go. You uh, have your chair. Okay. I'll go here. Ah. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. So, what brings me to my office? <laughs> um, I have a proposition for you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, I was wondering, how would you fancy uh, fighting something with me? Fighting something? Me, the one that dies all the time and screams when they see a zombie. No, no, no. I want Sev, the person who had my back when I was making some stairs in a cavern or ravine, and the Sev that... Basically took on a whole raid all by herself while I ran around naked. I need that Sev. But you were the one saving me. You had my bag. I was just there screaming and dying all the time. No, no, no. And I want you to fight a certain thing with me. Ugh. Say yes. Say yes. Uh, Go on, uh, you know you want to. Uh, ah. I almost fell off the building. See how scared I am. It'll be fun. You'll love it. Well, if you say so. Yay. Okay. To my ravine. So, you've never fought the wither? Not really. Cool. <laughs> um, Should I be concerned? Absolutely. Um, uh, I've got no decent armour on. I mean, I've got some, but I've still got my wings on. Maybe I should put my wings away, just in case. Yeah, I've got my chest plate on. It's fully enchanted. I don't know how I got it, but it will save me, maybe. You have netherite gear. I only have diamond. Yeah, I'm... but you've got a chest plate on. I don't. This is going to be hilarious. Uh, I'll die first. <laughs> so, we've got no potions. I've Reaper! Got no chest. <laughs> Liar. We're, we're so going to do this. It's going to be awesome. Ah. Ah, not where I want to do it. Ooh. But what I like to do is whenever I start a new world or I'm on a server or anything like that, the first wither I kill properly. And as usual, I haven't come prepared. <laughs> well, as long as there aren't any drop creepers. <laughs> yes, thanks for that. So here you go. You could do the honours. <gasps> now, what will happen is it should explode... Then we can start shooting it with arrows and walking backwards. It should get slowed down by all this. And then when it gets to that certain point where arrows don't work anymore, that's when we run in and we hit it lots. Now, we've got no milk. We've got nothing to stop the withering. I should have brought that up. Um, so hopefully he doesn't destroy our beds and we can respawn. <laughs> oh, run. <laughs> well done. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, you killed us, scream the bug out. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, did it go? Oh my god. Hello? He's not chasing us. His focus seems to be elsewhere. Uh oh. You're, you're withering away. Please don't die. Ah! Uh oh. Ugh. I almost shot you. <laughs> Ugh, wither, 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 wither. Give you all the killing. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, you're, you're damaging it. That's great. Oh, it's right above me! 
Okay, I'm withering away. I'm dying. Can't eat no more. Die with a. Ah. <laughs> it will regenerate. Level. Oh. Ooh, oh got ah. me good, got me good then. Die with the die with the die. Ah. I think they hit it once. <laughs> once counts. I only had one golden apple. Oh, I think that's I think we can hit it now with a sword. <laughs> Come on, Seth, you got this. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm with. Ah, it's in my face. Let's hit you. <laughs> You'll kill it, I'm scared. Yeah. That's it. We've done it. We did Wait, it. It's dead? Yeah, that's Yay. it. <laughs> Pro Minecrafter. Well done, Sev. How does it feel? Ah, uh, it feels like I almost died. And they're going to be creepers, so I I want to run away. You survived. <laughs> Just about. I'm on three hearts. But you survived. You did it. Well done. And you did it. You killed it. Well done. It was a <laughs> team effort. And look, it didn't even reach our beds. Yes. Ah, oh, I didn't lose all my stuff. Ah. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, thanks for helping me out, Sev. That was fun. I'll get you to do the next ten then, yeah? Uh, uh, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Bye then. Bye. I, I don't even know my way out of this tunnel. Oh, just follow Calm it straight. Down. It's fine. It, it'd be you'll be great. Bye. <laughs> So, thanks to Seb giving us a hand there, it was her first time fighting with her. How cool's that? I think she did really well. Anyway, we have gone and got ourselves the Nether Star. Because that means we can make a beacon. Uh, I believe it's Nether Star in the middle, three obsidian on the bottom, and surround it in glass. Ah, oh, yes it is. Awesome. Because now we've got a beacon. We can do some strip mining and see if Spud's right. Hmm. I think there's another stream coming up for that. But in the meantime, I think we should go and find somewhere to put it. I'm thinking we put it down Flazhold, as Mega Bubfish called it, which I think is an awesome name. Okay, so I've laid the beacon down. We've got all of the layers. Which means I get a secondary power. So let's get this kicking. We want haste. Haste. Two. Oh, maybe I don't have the secondary power then. Ah. That'll be why. Okay. Now we can have haste two. That work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beacon miner streaming. Here we come. And just so as no one accidentally falls down it. Safety first. Right, I think that brings us to the end of this uh, exciting episode. Well, we've done a lot. Um, we've done the path of wood, or whatever that's going to be. And then we lit it all up with some braziers. I don't know. But we did get Sev to fight the wither for the first time. And that was fun. And now we've set up a beacon in the hopes of streaming. And that's why I'm finishing off outside Flazhold here. Because that's where the beacon mine's going to be. In the Dwarven Mine. Makes sense. Now some of you may know I'm actually on Twitter. Link in the description. And to celebrate having over 100 subscribers, I decided to do a poll to see what my sub club should be called. One of the options was, instead of fanatics, blazatics. Clever, yes? No? Anyway, that got the most votes. But I did put in there other and comment. And somebody did. So shout out to Jerry the Wizard, who came up with Blazateam. Blazateam. 
I liked it so much that... Right, here we go, here we go. If you sub to me, you're a flazatic, eh? But as a group, you're part of the Plaza team. Yeah, well, I like it. Um, if you don't, well, you should have voted. And you should follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. So, yes, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more and become part of the Plaza team by being a Plazatic. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. There's nothing you can say. And hit the subscription button. Anyway, until the next episode. Whoa. Wait, what's that? It seems to be coming from surface base. Quick!